You're welcome to Logos of Flame Daily Devotional Podcast. Be blessed as you listen. August 31st, today's topic is why we never give up. As believers in Christ Jesus, our primary responsibility is to be witnesses for him in words and in deed. Matthew 28:18 to 19a, New Living Translation, which is referred as the Great Commission, reads, Jesus came and told his disciples, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations. We bear witness for Christ anywhere and everywhere. In the process of carrying out this assignment, we'll encounter resistance, challenges, opposition from people and from the powers of darkness. For some, it may be mild persecution by parents, spouses, colleagues and friends. It may be severe trials such as a state-sponsored persecution that may result in deprivation of basic rights. At times, it may involve torture or even death. As we can see from our memory verse today, Paul declared that the troubles and sufferings that we may go through in the process of witnessing for Christ are small compared to the eternal weight of glory that awaits us if we do not give up. Paul's motivation was the fact that his suffering was a benefit to the people in this context, the Corinthian church, in that they were getting saved and the more people get saved, the more thanksgiving and glory goes to God. Verse 15 says, all of this, Paul's sufferings, is for the Corinthian church benefit. And as God's grace reaches more and more people, there will be great thanksgiving and God will receive more and more glory. As believers, we cannot afford to give up. We shall be rewarded if we do not give up. Matthew 19, 29, New Living Translation says, And everyone who has given up houses, or brothers, or sisters, or father, or mother, or children, or property, for my sake, will receive a hundred times as much in return and will inherit eternal life. In Romans 8, 35, and 38 to 39 King James Version, Paul said, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, or things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Personal Reflections 1. Will you describe yourself as passionate for the Lord? 2. What are the things that motivate you and how can you keep the fire burning? Our Bible reading is from Job 37, 1 through 39, 30. 2 Corinthians 4, 13 through 5, 10, Psalm 44, 9 to 26, Proverbs 22, 13. Our memory verse is from 2 Corinthians 4, 17, using the New Living Translation. For our present troubles are small and won't last long, yet they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs them and will last forever. We would love to hear from you. Please send your messages and prayer requests to our email, office at logosofflameministries.org or visit our Facebook page, Logos of Flame Ministries, and drop a message. God bless.